Hi Aries, welcome to your October reading. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. We're going to be seeing what messages you come through for you. I'm actually going to start off your reading with some Moonology cards as I'm doing your reading on the full moon in Aries. So I figured that this would be fitting just to kind of get a feel for how this full moon might be affecting you and just overall what you can expect for the month of October. But yeah, Aries, how are you doing? Hope life is treating you well. We're going to see what the vibes are looking like for you in October. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this and let's just pull some Moonology cards to start off this reading. We have Confidence is the Key to Your Success, New Moon in Leo. Give me a couple messages for Aries. Your dreams need a practical plan. And we also have it's time to release negativity. Your hard work is paying off. Full new moon in Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. So it's interesting how you guys have some energy that's fading out. We have some full moon energy, which is fitting because I'm just I'm doing your reading on the full moon in Aries. And we have some new moon, which represents newness, new beginnings. I'm seeing like you guys are heading into this new chapter, this new cycle of your life where your efforts truly are paying off and it's important that you don't let your past hold you back okay past experiences where you maybe you felt like you were really drained maybe you really felt like you were being underappreciated or undervalued but anyways i'm also seeing like your confidence is increasing i'm also seeing that you're getting more confidence more focus more of like a sharp edge like you just are more precise with what you want what you're going after after <laughs> and all you really are needing is to make a practical plan stay consistent stay focused all right and then another thing that you just gotta work through is releasing negativity full moon in scorpio so as long as you can do that which is interesting because the next full moon that we have will be in taurus that's going to be an eclipse so from now to the eclipse in taurus which will be on the 28th of october this is a time where your confidence is really going to skyrocket this is a time where you're going to be feeling a lot more empowered a lot more focused um you're really clearing out negativity things around you that haven't been a good influence whether that be people whether that be your own damn self your own habits whether it just be things in your life that just don't support your dreams right you're dreams need a practical plan you are needing to be practical here aries you are needing to look at the facts you are needing to you know be honest with yourself but you're also needing to just be confident and believe in yourself and believe in your dreams because you're more than capable and yeah it just you gotta just stay consistent your hard work it is paying off it's gonna be worth it and in the meantime you just need to find the balance we have full moon in pisces balance of practicality and spirituality okay so let's get some animal cards and see what is going down for you in October. And then we'll take a diver, a deep dive, a diver. Okay, we'll take a dive into the tarot, of course. So any messages for Aries in October 2023? What do my Aries need to know, look out for, or be aware of? What's going on for Aries in October? Wow, that was fast. Okay, Aries, you guys got a lot to say. We have the rabbit and the crow. I'm going to get you one or two more. Let's see what's going on for aries in october 2023 thank you firefly you're getting these glimpses aries you're getting these glimpses of like your potential future we have that earthworm at the bottom of the deck so you are you are on this new cycle um let's see spider and deer yeah this is really screaming beginning energy something new is beginning or you have recently started this new path or there's something you're being called to but you have a lot of fear there's like some doubts that you have that creep up from time to time you're really needing to trust your intuition with the crow you're really needing to trust your gut you're needing to trust your guides that you are being directed down the right path but there's moments here where you lose focus or you kind of get distracted or you know even burnout comes out or there's like inconsistency sometimes the firefly comes out when it's representing a bit of inconsistent energy or it fades quickly like you get that inspiration but if you don't grab onto it quick enough it kind of fades away or just kind of like you kind of miss out or it kind of just passes you by if you don't grab onto it or if you don't push yourself there's a bit of procrastination for a few of you where you know maybe you're just being your own block so going back to your dreams in a practical plan is just like you just got to get planning you just got to get a little bit tighter a little bit tighter with your routine a little bit tighter with your structure i feel like structure is going to really help you get in 
motion, get on track. But with this rabbit, there's like this restlessness. There's a lot of overthinking. You might be noticing in October, your mind is just racing. You're, there's a lot of thoughts that are occupying your brain. And, you know, you're trying to figure out how you're going to get there, how it's going to happen, how it's going to work out. And, you know, there's just like a lot that's clouding your brain, good and bad thoughts. And, you know, there is a little bit of that negative overthinking or overanalyzing or having some doubts. So that's something that I see you working through the more that you trust yourself with the crow making it more of a priority to rest making it more of a priority to meditate to just get grounded in yourself in your deep inner knowing with spirit the more you put that focus towards that the things that bring you calmness the things that keep you centered and just more confident in yourself and your abilities the more you'll be able to really transmute this energy and like see massive growth and results this month so with the earth room at the bottom of the deck and the spider i'm kind of feeling like there is something about um like repetition or like having to redo not redo but like repeats repeat repeatedly like there feels like there's a bit of a like repetition to this like it kind of you might get a little bit bored or this might be um a month where <laughs> like um things are moving a little bit slow turtle at the bottom as well but it's overall it is taking you to your happiness with the the otter underneath that so it is saying like it is a slower track to get there but you are getting happier as the days go on and it is fulfilling i also see that there's a lot of healing taking place around self-worth self-value um some of you you are working through you know falling back to old patterns or repeating old lessons i see like you are slowly breaking the chain you're slowly rewriting your life it's taking some time it's taking persistence and dedication and a lot of patience a lot of a lot a lot a lot, a lot of patience okay but you are on the right track and you just gotta stay go stay, stay going stay consistent and trust in yourself and trust your abilities you are also gonna get a lot of downloads a lot of messages from your higher self from your future self come i was gonna just say congratulating you what <laughs> okay so maybe your future self is congratulating you based off the efforts and like the hard work that you're putting in to this process to this plan to this job to this relationship to yourself whatever the hell that it is that you're putting a focus on this month it's like it seems like your future self will be congratulating you like this is something that's gonna pay off and yeah for some reason i said congratulating so maybe there's something that's like worth celebrating but you're getting these glimpses or to be receiving messages through like dreams through songs and these certain animals like there's gonna be messages coming through as like easter eggs clear signs specifically to you that you will know it's gonna hit you in your soul it's gonna hit you in your gut and you're just gonna know like you're just gonna have this deep inner knowing it's just it's gonna be so obvious and it's gonna come in little flashes little tidbits little you know it's it may not be so obvious but if you kind of are more aware and you open your mind and you just keep your eyes peeled you're going to see a lot of signs like the signs are definitely showing you the right way the right path and just to be mindful not to like overthink it or overanalyze it or like doubt it because some of you you're like you're getting these clear signs and you're like doubting it you're like oh that's just a coincidence or oh that doesn't mean anything but it does it's not a coincidence it's showing up for a reason like you're seeing these signs you're getting this message for a reason you're having these dreams or these feelings or these insights for a reason Aries so the more that you really tap into that the more that you have confidence in that ability of yours the more easier things are just going to flow and come together and just so Anyways, let's get into the tarot. I'm going to use a gold foil. We're going to see what's going down, the specifics of what you can expect for October 2023 for Aries. Summarizing Venus. What's going on for Aries in October? What am I Aries to so look out for or be aware of? What's going on for Aries in October? Um, <laughs> that's way too many spirit oh really like why did you why did this happen so sorry y'all give me a second there's eight of pentacles that flipped out on the top i'll take the cards that are that are showing face up but i'm not gonna maybe i should maybe i should take them damn it mm, aries y'all all right so let me love i guess we'll take it we'll take it but i might put them back later on if it doesn't make sense eight of pentacles five of wands reverse and the page of swords reverse those are the lovers with the eight of cups and the six of wands what is this uh page of cups reverse five of pentacles reverse and the six of cups reverse you got a lot of um you got a lot of cups you got a lot of waters i'm noticing you have six showing up a little bit and fives five of pentacles five of wands six of cups 
and six of wands so you got some um synchronicities showing up here in your reading now i'm seeing you coming up with some sort of plan or some sort of solution here we have this eight of pentacles so there's that dedication there's that focus that consistent effort that we were talking about we have the five of wands in the reverse which is indicating that there is some sort of like resolution to some sort of challenge or some sort of problem maybe this is revolving around some sort of communication maybe this is revolving around your own thoughts that you're having um but with this page of swords in the verse there's been like lack of clarity there's been some fogginess if there's been issues in communication relationships you know difficulty getting your point across difficulty coming to some sort of agreement i'm seeing that it's being worked on i'm seeing that there's some sort of improvement in that area um so we have the lovers that came out as well as the eight of cups and the six of wands i see you some of you are successfully leaving behind a person or you could be leaving behind like a job it seems like you're leaving behind something here you're making a choice with the lovers you're making a very big decision like this is a fat choice that you're making it it carries a lot of weight and with the eight of cups you're making the choice to leave something behind or you're moving on from something even just emotionally you could be moving on from something maybe you're not physically getting up and moving or leaving or cutting something out but you could just be emotionally moving on from some sort of struggle we'll take a look into that but we have the six of wands that comes out after so it's indicating like you're coming out here victorious and successful and whatever it is that i feel like you're tidying up any loose ends and you're able to just kind of like move forwards coast is clear things are way more smoother that's kind of what i'm seeing here and then the other cards that came out with the page of cups in the reverse so again kind of representing like issues with communicating communicating communication issues with expressing yourself being vocal uh, talking about your feelings wearing your heart in your sleeve there, this could be representing some sort of emotional unavailability whether that be you whether that be someone that you're dealing with someone having a very very difficult time expressing themselves and how they feel and so maybe that's part of this that's being worked through okay and then we have the five of pentacles in the reverse which is coming out of the cold you know a period of stagnancy loneliness lack of support even financially maybe that's been a struggle maybe you had a hard time asking for help someone maybe has had a very difficult time asking for help or asking for support or even asking for money maybe someone's been really struggling financially but they got a lot of pride or a lot of ego be like, let's pull it pull a walter white out here <laughs> you know it's like no i'm not gonna ask for money i'll do it myself like you know sometimes you sometimes you gotta ask for help and um Anyways, I see that that's also connected to something from the past Six of Cups. So if there is something about that, I don't know. I see you working through some issues. I see you working to, through some of these matters here. And your intuition is also helping you guide yourself through this uncertainty. Um, this is Pisces energy, the star reverse, and also the Three of Swords. So it's really showing like there's been a moment or in October, you kind of have moments where you're having like lack of faith or you're feeling very like down and lost and unsure uncertain but like deep down even though like even, even though in like the physical reality things not be may not be looking too hot right but like deep down on like a soulful level with the high priestess like you know you're gonna get through this like even though things may be up in the air or things may be a little chaotic or a little stressful or overwhelming or not the best deep down internally with the high priest like there's something internally that's telling you like just keep going have faith it's gonna work out some way somehow even though right now star reverse and the three of swords this shit is painful why am i going through this what is the lesson what was the reason i don't get it it don't make sense make it make sense high priestess like intuitively though intuitively though you're being pushed in some sort of direction intuitively though like if you dealt with rejection it's like redirection right if you're dealing with something that is not working for you like it is it, it, bringing you into alignment if even if it doesn't feel that way right off the bat and, but like deep down intuitively like your intuition is trying to tell you something here and again it's that crow but that the rabbit you're like out here overthinking it you're out here having doubts about it star reverse right having doubts about what high priestess your intuition your higher calling you know um connection to spirit you know there's like something deep 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 within you that you know but like you're kind of like not believing it or you need to take more time out here to reflect hang man pisces again showing up pisces showing up quite a bit you have some sort of decision to make to a sorts you have a decision to make and um i was just gonna, I'll go, I was gonna call you pisces <laughs> like <laughs> some of you have piscean placements um which I, i'm gonna be doing pisces reading today so that's kind of funny but you have a decision to make aries and this decision it might be like um 
it might be pulling at your heartstrings, honestly. Hangman, three of swords, and the two of swords. You might be having to make a head over heart decision. Um, or you're kind of feeling like, regardless of whatever you end up choosing, star reverse, you're feeling like doom and gloom, regardless of what path you take. Ah, uh, it feels like a lot. It feels like a lot, a lot, a lot. But anyways, I do think you're going to be getting some sort of like plan in motion, some sort of solution. You're going to be getting back on track here. So I guess let's do some clarifying here. Let's see. Let's take a little bit of a deeper dive as to. So where should we begin? By the way, you also have two eights. You have two eights, two fives and two sixes. So eight, five and six. Those might be some important numbers for you over these next couple of weeks <sighs> okay eight of pentacles what are you working towards or what is it that you need to put your focus on aries show me clearly eight of pentacles for aries what should Ari i don't know how i should have these cards i'm just gonna shimmy these over <laughs> all right tell me this eight of pentacles what should aries be focusing on or what's this plan aries is working on show me clearly this eight of pentacles thank you eight of pentacles in the reverse okay double confirmation except the eight of pentacles in the reverse he's like undoing something so there's something here aries where you have the opportunity to undo or restore or revamp or kind of like erase a few mistakes you have the opportunity to kind of like backspace you know you didn't like that you can you can restore back to the earlier version <laughs> like okay update gone wrong so let's just go back to the last version yeah I see that this is connected to a wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups underneath that, the four of swords that maybe you had to take a break from or you kind of have to like put on standby, put on pause or, you know, let me see. Tell me this eight. Of, oh my God. Okay. What up? What up? Queen of wands reversed and the king of pentacles. This could be related to your work for sure. Or a person. We have Taurus energy as well as earth and some fire. And why the hell? judgment reverse okay see there's something about like a mistake that was made six of swords eight of swords and the seven of pentacles see the sixes and eights are showing up a lot in your reading like now we've had like four eights now in this reading and like three sixes so there's some sort of like mistake you feel like you've made or someone feels like they've made a mistake um and there might be like this plan here on how to get back on track how to bring more stability how to bring more support how to bring more trust um how to get things back in control how to how to maneuver things back into you know the best possible way for you the queen of wands reverse in this deck she definitely she's the one to kind of take advantage of a situation she's able to you see this eyeball over here she's able to kind of like see um like how do i describe this like kind of like oh my light just flashed kind of like I'm getting the image in my mind's eye. I'm getting the image of like a screen, like a, you know, screen for the window or the door, but like there's a hole in the screen and you're finding a way to kind of like poke through. I don't know. <laughs> what is this? I, I don't know. But judgment reverse is kind of indicating like there is some sort of mistake or uh, like a lesson that you, you didn't learn. <sighs> and it's like, this is you correcting your error, correcting your mistakes. I feel like I had a reading like this recently for a sign, but I can't remember who. I can't remember who, but Six of Swords. So I see you moving away from whatever this was. The stress, the fears, the worry, the anxiety. Feeling like, oh my god, it's too late. I'm, I've messed things up. I, I can't repair this. But yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse underneath that. You're like, oh shit, I'm doomed. I can't repair this. I messed this up. What am I going to do here? Yeah, Strength reverse even. Like there is something here where you are feeling hella regret or just feeling like ashamed or just like okay so let's see how how's this resolving itself <laughs> how are you how are you resolving this matter this issue this struggle what is this um again remember we do have that six of wands which is telling me you are like moving away from this and you're coming out successful so we'll see what that's about um five of wands reverse on the page of swords reverse <sighs> what is this about you're needing to share your ideas or ideas need to be shared or discussed Five of Wands reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. You have the Knight of Cups. So this could be in love or romance. Or you need to you need to bring love to the situation. You need to bring love. You need to bring compassion and patience and like gentleness. You need to come across here in the situation with more love and patience and nurturing. Um, 
But also, don't let your kindness be taken as weakness. So Ace of Swords, right? Speak your truth. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. We also have the Page of Cups. So see, I'm kind of feeling like there could be some sort of like apology or like can we talk can we work this out like i want us to be on the same page here i want to bring peace to the situation so i'm seeing that there's a message here justice yeah to bring something into balance to bring something into alignment six of six, six, i can't even speak the six of pentacles and justice this is all about bringing things into balance making sure that there's like this equality here that everybody feels understood and that there is justice being fought for seven of wands and this the six of pentacles all right can you tell me a little bit more about this spirit what is this resolution five of wands reverse i feel like you might not you might have to hash something out or eight of wands reverse okay so there could be and notice the eights in this reading six of queen of swords a lot of air and the moon reverse six of wands there we have it again five of wands and the ten of swords so it's kind of seeming like there could be a bit of a collapse or like fall breakthrough breakup breakthrough type thing okay because i'm seeing we have that five of wands again with this with the ten of swords and underneath that the king of cups so this has been affecting you heavily emotionally right there's maybe some sort of ending some sort of tension buildup of some sort of fallout okay so i'm sensing that there was either a fallout recently or in october there may be some sort of fallout now after the fallout you do come out successful or it does seem like things may escalate and then it kind of simmers down and there could be some sort of resolution now i'm feeling like there will be some sort of conversation or this is about bringing love to the situation right speaking your truth being able to communicate your feelings which is interesting because earlier we had that page of cups in the reverse indicating like someone was having a hard time opening up about their thoughts and their emotions and their feelings maybe someone acting um out of pocket <laughs> emotionally immature or petty or just like you know bringing up things from the past that were irrelevant like maybe you try to have a conversation with someone and like you're like hey that thing you did really bothered me and they're like oh yeah well you did this and you did that and you did this 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 that and remember back in 2017 when and you're like yo like why are you bringing up all this shit that's irrelevant like what is this petty shit anyways um i'm kind of seeing like this conversation might be a little um what's the right word for this it feels a little hostile just with this eight of wands it's very someone may be very closed off you could be dealing with an air sign a libra aries oh not aries <laughs> not aries bro then you're fire uh libra aquarius or gemini if just because we have this queen of swords there is someone here who's on the defense it could be you if i don't know whoever's whoever someone is on the defense could be a pisces we have pisces energy coming out here moon reverse there is something being revealed here um but someone is on the defense or someone's like having a hard time trusting this conversation um it's like there's like a message trying to come on in but this queen of swords she's like what do you want from me what do you want from me i don't trust you you seem suspicious you seem shady so yeah, uh, because because of whatever happened that brought this down, someone feels pretty burdened by it. Lovers, I don't know if that. Eight of Cups, so we have that again. Lovers, Eight of Cups, y'all. All right, so let's take a look into the Six of Wands and see like how are you coming out successful in this situation? How do we how do we maneuver through this? Right? Let's see. All right, I'm just gonna move these cards out of the way. Six of Wands, how is Aries coming out successful? How can Aries bring a positive outcome to this situation? You are definitely needing to show up in confidence. What are the Six of Wands for Aries? Thank you. Hangman Reverse. Okay, so keep an open mind, y'all. Keep an open mind. Be open to receive let things happen again pisces has been showing up consistently in your reading are you dealing with the pisces you got any pisces placements let me know i would love to know if i'm like picking up on someone or maybe maybe there's a pisces that you're dealing with tell me the six of what temperance reverse just flipped itself out sag energy so there it feels like there's a bit of imbalance though okay how's how's aries this is like i'm getting sidetracked five of pentacles reverse in the chariot See, again, there's Aries. It's telling me you're finding a solution. You have doubts about it at first 
or initially like you're kind of you're walking on thin ice it feels like you're balancing on a balancing beam we have the seven of pentacles reversed along with the two of swords reversed again so there's a lot of doubt there's a lot of hesitance there's a lot of like okay i'm walking on thin ice i'm walking on eggshells i'm trying to balance this beam this is kind of tricky i need to watch my step i need to be very careful with the energy that i put into this there's your energy here with the emperor aries there you are three of wands but i see you making some sort of plan that's involving other people Ah, oh, yes and underneath that plan we have the empress which is indicating like there's room to grow there's room to thrive that things are going to be better off afterwards all right some way somehow some shape <laughs> things are going to work itself out but it shows off immediately that there's some hesitance there's a little bit of uncertainty but you just stick it out you just you know remember what your ideal goal outcome desire is and whatever that is put all your focus all of your might onto that even though the physical reality right rabbit it might not fully match that outcome right now give it time things aren't set in stone let things kind of maneuver and shape shift and fall into place um and your, your faith is being tested right now that's a damn fact okay but yeah it is kind of showing here hangman reverse and temperance reverse you are needing to work on surrendering and not forcing things that's something that is a, a little bit of a struggle at times um I'm also seeing that there could be some impatience here, just like people not fully understanding your side of the story or like, you know, there, there might be a little bit of like head butting is what I'm seeing here. It's just a little bit frustrating here. And so with temperance in the reverse, there is something that's needing to be brought into balance. Again, that's coming up again. Like that, I said that earlier with that Libra energy that came up. Five of Pentacles in the reverse again. So double confirmation here. But there's a plan getting in some sort of movement, some sort of motion. Some of you could be moving or it seems like you're just kind of picking up whatever kind of fell apart, whatever pieces fell apart. It's like you're picking it back up and you're, it's not about rebuilding it of what it used to be. It's about like, building something else right building something else that's better than how it was prior something that's more solid something that's more you know strong standing and so with the five of pentacles reverse in the chariot i see you're kind of like you're getting back on that bike yeah you fell off that bike <laughs> maybe you got a, your a car you got a flat tire guess what you got it repaired there we go now you're back on the road all right so you're back on the road again you're back on track somehow some way some form like you found a way or you found a solution and it just there's something about like things just need to you're needing to get used to these new ways or there's like this progression like there is something that's like progressing and it's it's different it's gonna be different than how it was before um very different but that's not a bad thing and if you can adjust to that if you can kind of like surrender and just like have faith like it's, it's going to be better off this way somehow some way it's better off um and it, it's just going to take a little bit of time to rebuild but it's going to be better than it was before all right and i also do have to mention we have the emperor to the empress so we got that divine masculine divine feminine over here so there is that um union coming around so i am seeing that as well or there's plans to get things back on track after some hiccups after some challenges after some you know headbutting and some struggles and some issues here so i guess we'll just leave your reading here i hope that this was helpful and insightful it's gonna work out for you aries even if it doesn't seem like it right now come back to this reading by the end of october let me know how this like plays out if this is your reading if it resonates um i wish you all the best it's gonna be okay i'm sending you so much love and so much strength and just positive energy your way you will get through this stay strong um and until then, I will talk to you in the next one. All right, take it easy. Bye, Aries.